It's time to get back to work. But why are you on the street? The guards discovered that I gave their food back to the people. Now they hunt me. I have a bounty on my head. Being a priest of light is a dark job in this filthy city. I can get you out of Alexandria, priest, if you like. But I cannot keep you safe forever. I ask too much of you, Magi. There is a small temple north of here that will take me in. The Philakitai will be watching the roads, Magi. We must leave by the canal. There should be boats there. I will spew arrows on any who get in our way. Be like a moon. I will take care of these guards. What were we saying? Let's take one of these boats. And it will have to do. It looks sturdy enough. I go to a temple near the forest. They will take me in, I hope. Perhaps it is true what they say. Alexandria is a city filled with liars. I've met a kind hand or two here in Alexandria, priest. Sometimes, it's enough to know, we are nearing the arsenal responsible for all ill that has befallen me. They will be on alert. Ready yourself then, priest. They come after us with Feluca. Apparently they wish to show the other priests the error of your ways. It was only food. The people were starving. I owe you more than my life, Major. Jesus. We are not yet at your island. We still have a little ways to go.
Are you gonna get in the boat or? Here is where you wish to stop. Is this the island? Yes. It is yet a short distance to the temple. I will be safe, Major. I will practice at the temple as a new man. I will leave you with a small token of my gratitude. May your happiness multiply. <laughs> this is where you and I part, Magi. I am a priest no longer. Lysander was my name. It will be nice to be Lysander once more, I think. Walk in peace then, Lysander. And you, Magi. Bye. Thank you. Is that a, uh... Yeah, that's probably going to be a fortress or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Coffin fits. And that very cares. You know, let's go meet. <laughs> hey, uh, or whatever her name is. However, you pronounce it. <laughs> be that far from here I mean, it's only like oh it's right there I think Serapis the snake will get his answer I wrote this how will I find I am on goal these endless scrolls. It's almost right. But can't you express them concisely? Okay. 
The knowledge of the entire world. All right. Set up this. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. I as eager to see you. Is she safe? Quickly, follow me. I am sorry, my good fellow. You appear to be drunk. This library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am I.S. cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Why are you being so discreet? Gennadius sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often, they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of this system we live under. Gennadius. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexander. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all, fear not. Look! There's Thanos! He thinks he's a poet! The modern Sophocles. This is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. Thanks, dude. Right there. Again, should we spend months apart? We only have each other without him. What? Let us be together, us two, each to each. Okay. Getting a booty call tonight. I have new <coughs> you are scarred by justice. Uh. I bludgeoned Medunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. <laughs> I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acton. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. I am. But I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then we will be done.
Okay. Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council, which means this snake is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere, because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. She plans to take back the throne. She wants this snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this to slit his throat. It's an ancient blade that killed the tyrant Xerxes. A weapon of justice. <laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. You'll find plenty of information in the royal scribe's office. He spends his time at the bathhouse. Go search the palace while he's away. And you? I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined to kill me. In addition to the snake, I will see what I can learn of this Gennadios and silence him. Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the Paneum when you have killed both the snake and Gennadios. Well, I got the assassin's blade. Finally. My heart aches until I see you again. As does mine, my love. Julie, you know what? <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I might just end this episode here. I mean, I did just get the hidden blades. It seems like a cool spot to end. Okay, yeah, I'm not ready to take those guys on, apparently. Hey, you know what? I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And give, your th give yourselves a big thumbs up. <coughs> Bye.